is Dr. Gamolitz's subluxated IOL bag complex removal, where the capsule has uh, shrunk to with phimosis, and you can see the haptics curled right against the optic. So it wouldn't be appropriate to try to reposition this for the best quality vision. So I elected to remove it and replace it with an anterior chamber intraocular lens. One could also consider sulcus fixation, as scleral sutured fixation, or iris fixation. But it, in the older age group with good endothelial cell count, I use the anterior chamber lens. So we're just going to fold this lens. Made the incision uh, big enough for the anterior chamber lens, and that'll be big enough to get this lens out when it's still in the bag. A risk here is that the bag will open and you lose some cortical material into the anterior chamber and, or anterior vitreous. But this one did not. It came out intact. So then we can just use a meiotic and make sure there isn't any vitreous herniation. It's two-port vitrectomy. And I use the vitrector on IA cut. You can see the cut rate being reduced to 10 uh, per minute so that you can take just one aspiration cut to make the peripheral iridectomy. Then checking again to make sure there isn't any vitreous. Viscoelastic instilled. A lens glide placed. And the quadriflex lens designed by Dr. Kelman. Slid across the sheet's lens glide. One has to be careful the lens glide isn't pushed too hard with the friction from the ICL or the IOL. So keep watching the pupil and if the, it's ovalizing then pull back on the lens glide a little bit. And I hold the lens now while we remove the, the glide so it doesn't pull the lens back out. And then get the trailing haptics inside the incision one at a time. The chamber's reformed. And I like to have a gonial lens on the table to sterile ready to go to check the, up, the position of the haptics in the sulcus. If this is not available, use a Sinsky hook and pull the haptics out of the sulcus, lift a little bit, and let it settle back into the, the sulcus. After the wound is closed, we're just checking again to make sure the haptics are not tucking the iris and are positioned properly. Thank you.